Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the front, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't. Me. I'm just a little Jackie Horner Since I met my sugar cane The gang of mine has been revealing That they're feeling sore I left the lamplight on the corner For the moon in lover's lane I'm doing things I've never done before When I take my sugar to tea All the boys are jealous of me Cause I never ever take her where the gang goes When I take my sugar to tea After I Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Knight Hotel for opening night for this fabulous new recording artist. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. Ah, hello there. My name is Marcus Goldhaber. Marcus, tell us about this, this wonderful gig that you're appearing here. What is it, every Thursday night? Uh, yeah, it's a two-month engagement um, here at the Knight Hotel. We'll be here on Thursday evenings, um, 6 p.m. and then 7.45. Tell my audience, what, what inspired you to be a crooner? Uh, I think that this is, a, this is music that I grew up listening to. Um, my mom played it on the piano a lot. Um, I grew up listening to uh, the likes of a young Frank Sinatra. That y I was just going to say, you remind me so much of Frank Sinatra and Her Harry Connick Jr. You're like a oh. combination of the two. Very Thank smooth. You. Thank you very much. Your um, first so experience I, I on Broadway? I mean, we're right in the midst of Broadway theaters and restaurants. Um, well, I've, I've performed at a lot of clubs around this area um, in town. In fact, uh, last month we just performed at Iridium, which is not too far from here. Um, and 
you know, before that, uh, I've performed in a couple of different shows as an actor um, in the neighborhood. Oh, as so well. you are an actor too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How wonderful! Yeah. Oh, you have you're like the whole package. Well, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> and there's such a resurgence now of musicals. Wouldn't it be wonderful if someone cast you in a movie where you would be singing and dancing and, you know? Absolutely. Wouldn't you like that? Absolutely. If you, you, if you know like anyone, that. please let me know. To, uh, my, my first uh, jazz record was a, a Sarah Vaughan record. Really? And, um, and so listening to her phrase a, a lyric um, really was my entryway um, into more of a hardcore, uh, straight-ahead jazz um, song uh, or jazz interpretation. Um, a lot of the, the stuff that Sinatra did with Tommy Dorsey and Harry James is a lot more lyrical, but also listen to the likes of Anita O'Day and Peggy Lee and Doris Day even. That, uh, and wow, great Peggy stories, Lee you know. and Doris Day, those were like my inspirations growing up as a little girl. Oh. I love Peggy Lee and I love Doris Day. Yeah, no, they're very special. I wanted to be just like Doris Day in Pillow Talk with oh, all those wow. fabulous sure. clothes that she wore in the movie. Day. T for two, yeah. that's right. You're a big fan of uh, Turner Classic Movies, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Sure. Small endorsement, a calm, yeah, I think, that you can get from watching those old movies. Um, that. Uh, and the writers were so superb, weren't they? Oh, they were. I mean, and the, the dialogue. Well, and they were mostly showcasing uh, as well these songs too, mm-hmm. uh, and they would they would find any way possible to get the new song in, to get the new verse in, and. Uh, and so they, they did often serve as a showcase. I mean, T for Two was a showcase for that song. Um, and it was themed throughout. And uh, it was, uh, uh, you know, you don't find musical, uh, movie musicals these days that are geared around introducing um, a new song. A new song. Frank Sinatra flick. Um, I have to say it's, it's a tough one. I, I, I mean, I love From Here to Eternity. I mean, it's not he very. He really musical. didn't see, no. right? He didn't sing no, it, but his right. acting was so fabulous. And I mean, he won the Oscar for that movie. But I also, I mean, I love the film. I mean, he was in the film. It, my, I mean, Burt Lancaster, I, I thought was a phenomenal uh, performance as well. And um, I guess I would say uh, it's a toss-up between Anchors Away. Anchors Away. I, I had this feeling you were going to say that. Yeah. Anchors Away. Yeah. An incredible star, really, wasn't he, Frank Sinatra? I don't think there will ever be anybody else like him. People come close to him, but no one could ever be really like Frank Sinatra. Well, he's a he's a product of a genre. Yeah. And I think the genre is come and gone. It's it's, it, and what's, uh, what was born in that genre has lived on and been reinterpreted, and that's that's I think the best that we can ask for is that it always is reinterpreted and that it stays alive. What would you like people to think when they hear your music? Well, I, I, I suppose I'd just like them to connect uh, with the song. If someone can come up to me after listening to a song and, and say that it spoke to them, that would be just about the best that I could ask for. What's next for Marcus Goldhaber? Um, well, we're going to be here for the next t- two months, um, and uh, then I'll be at uh, the Catano uh, in July. Um, if this takes off, actually, um, and is going strong at the end of the engagement here, they uh, are planning to extend as well. So I'll be here. I'm also doing a lot of writing. Um, I haven't stopped writing since I put this last record out in November, and uh, so that's... Um, so, so we're getting back into the studio um, pretty soon to, for the next record. No movie roles yet. Not yet. That's what you want. Oh, you sure. want a movie role. That would, be, that would be a thrill. I would love that. Tell my audience again, every Thursday night you're appearing. Tell my audience. Sure. Uh, we're here at the Knight Hotel. Um, it's every Thursday night. It sets here at 6 p.m. and 7.45. And... Uh, uh, it's a brilliant, uh, brilliant ambiance here. I think it's a, it's a brilliant match, a real ideal room it's for jazz. It's a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice room, and yeah. people here are just lovely. So. Tell my audience the website, darling, so that they can find out more information about you. Sure. It's www.marcusgoldhaber.com. Fantastic. Are you going to give me a kiss goodbye? Oh, right here. Mwah. 
And that's Cognac signing off. Keep watching more celebrity interviews coming up, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. For the Cognac Show. I said Cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said Cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a fancy blonde, fallacy dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in. This, this has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.